You're live. Hey guys, so we're doing some cool stuff. Today we're gonna have my papa do with us. We're gonna do some <laughs> nursery rhymes and move it around like we always do. Alright, today is stories. You read to your kids. Um, some of them are learning to read. They like stories. Um, but instead of sitting and listening to stories, we are going to show you a way that you can move with stories or nursery rhymes depending on the ages of kids. Um, if you think about music, some of the music tells you what to do. There's line dancing um, where there's choreographed music to it. And then some songs, what I call canned music, tells you what to do. Um, one that comes to mind is called the goldfish where the fish have to swim and then they lay down and sleep, and then they get up and they brush their teeth and all kinds of silly things. So we are going to do a series of stories, keeping it real short, but to give you an idea of how you can do stories to keep your kids active. And <clears throat> the stories can be made up. If you've been to the zoo, the beach, any place, airport, you can make up a story around that. So whether your kids are two or 12, um, you can do something to, <clears throat> to keep them moving. So, for instance, you ready? We're going to do um, uh, Itsy Bitsy Spider. Do you remember how to do Itsy Bitsy Spider? Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> a baby. I know, but we're showing them how to do it um, from little ones up to bigger ones, okay? Yeah. So, if you got Itsy Bitsy Spider, very short, Itsy Bitsy Spider, grabbed up the water. Yeah. <laughs> water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. So you've got movements to that. Up come the sun and wash it out the rain. <laughs> all right, so, all right, so you get an idea of how to how to do that. You have Jack and Jill ran up a hill. So you you want to do that? All right, Jack and Jill ran up a hill. Run. Uh, come, on, come on, run. <clears throat> to fetch a pail of water, can you carry your water? Good. Jack fell down, fall down, fall down, <laughs> broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. All right, so you've got um, just very simple, short songs, or um, nursery rhymes, that you can do with um, toddlers. Um, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, um, blind mice, whatever, um, any of those nursery rhymes. You can add movements to them to get the kids uh, moving and being active. Uh, but as they're older, you're gonna wanna do stories that get more movement with them. Like for instance, if you were to do Winnie the Pooh, um, I don't know how many people still read Winnie the Pooh stories or watch ever. So you've got Winnie the Pooh sleeping in his bed. Can you pretend to sleep, Cameron? Focus, buddy. Can you pretend to, pretend to sleep? All right, Winnie the Pooh is in his bed sleeping, and he gets up and stretches. Oh, oh and he's hungry. Can you pretend you're hungry? Oh, I'm oh, hungry. And he's hungry. We gotta walk to the kitchen, open up the cabinets, and look for what are we gonna look for? Um, cereal. <laughs> no, it's Winnie the Pooh. Um, What's he like to eat? Do you know? He doesn't know Winnie the Pooh. Honey, he's a bear. He likes honey. Oh, uh, I thought it was a pig. <laughs> what? It's okay. baby. That's okay. That's okay. All right. So he opens up and he looks and oh bother! I'm all out of honey. What am I gonna do? Oh, I remember hey, Winnie the hey, Pooh. Hey, there you go. All right. So then we go into the hundred acre woods. We're walking. So you can use stories, um, whether it's Dr. Seuss, Winnie the Pooh series, um, and you can and you can tell stories with your kids. All right, now older kids, um, you can do field trips. So we're gonna go to the zoo. You ready? You can go to the zoo. So let's, we well, wanna drive or walk? Mm, race. Race. <laughs> race, all right, so we have limited space. So get in your, are you gonna race your bus or your car? I'm gonna race my motorcycle. Motorcycle, okay, all right. So we're gonna drive fast, ready, go. My hand feels faster than yours, because you're a bus. <laughs> All right. Oh, shoot. All right, we've made it. You had a blowout on your tires. Yeah. All right, so we've made it to the zoo. We're going to walk in. And if you've been to the zoo and you know the sequence of animals, you can start being the animals. Like, what, what might you see at a zoo? Mm, tigers. 
tiger. So what would a tiger do? Uh, you can do that kind of tiger. Or you can just get down, crouch, crouch yes. down. <laughs> How would you be a giraffe? You make yourself tall. Uh, stretch up tall. Up on you your, your back. No, back. no, you're doing this by yourself. Stretch up tall. Walk on your tippy toes. <laughs> and you have elephants. Can you be an elephant? Yeah. There you go. Swing in your trunk. All right. So you get the idea um, of of a field trip, going to the zoo. Um, you can go to outer space where you have to put on your space suit. You ready to go to outer space? Sure. We got to get on our space suit. Put it through. There you go. Zip it's it your helmet up. on. Oh, we need zip it helmet. Up. It's we your need boots. 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 That's right. Helmet. Then hook all the air stuff up. All right. You walk. We climb into our spaceship. Good. All right. You get ready to blast off. 10, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! Ah! And you can fly around the room like a spaceship. But here you can actually learn about your planets. And you can do silly things like monkey around Mercury. You can vault around Venus, march past Mars, and kind of skip the Earth. So, um,. So you get the idea of telling stories, using your imagination, incorporating all the different movements of telling a story. Now I actually teach teachers about the sequence of, of doing stories um, and where you can get them, adding music to it, using music to the story. Like um, I have a jungle walk and we use Hakuna Matata and we do the story while the music is playing and we just <clears throat> add everything to it. All right, so stories, a great way to keep kids active. Use the books that you're already reading to them. Um, have them help you put movements to them and act out the story. Great way to spend a few minutes uh, learning about stories, developing your acting skills, and just getting them moving. So have a great um, weekend. Um, I know it's only Thursday, but I probably won't do any more videotaping until next week. So, and if you are part of the Stretch and Grow group, I sent out emails about doing a Zoom class next week. Uh, contact me at impactouryouth at gmail.com. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it's impactyouthfitness at gmail.com. Um, if you want to join in the Zoom call, impactyouthfitness at gmail.com. And I'm looking at doing a stretch and grow class online, and we'll, we'll see how that works. That's something new that I'm going to try. Ready? Sure. Thank you. Bye.